All right, Chris says, hi, Rhonda. In an interview a long time ago with Joe Rogan, you mentioned two supplements that counteract muscle atrophy, ursolic acid and uh, tomatidine that they were looking promising. Has there been any more research on their usefulness in preserving muscle in older adults? Um, I will say this. The most important players for muscle mass are protein intake, at least 1.6 grams per kilogram body weight, resistance training, anything you can do, body weight exercise, that, that, anything. Then after that would be omega-3. So you want to have more of the um, higher, higher, uh, two, you're going to get to the two to four gram triglyceride form range and uh, heat from either a sauna or hot tub. So um, both omega-3 and heat worked work on um, basically preventing disuse atrophy, which is a pretty big problem in older adults. So like when they're when you're not physically active, you know, when you're not doing resistance training, um, you know, atrophy, or sarcopenia, these things, these you're battling these things. And so omega both omega omega three seems to sensitize amino acids, your muscle um, to amino acids. Uh, that are anabolic, like leucine. And so it kind of almost seems to help make um, a lower dose of protein more effective. In other words, you're getting more bang for your buck with the same dose of protein. That's the working hypothesis, at least from Dr. Chris McGlory. Uh, you know, more, more work to really confirm that, but um, it, it's the working hypothesis right now. Heat from the sauna, there's now been a, a couple of studies on that that really seem to suggest that heat is is uh, preserving and, and preventing muscle atrophy and possibly even in combination with resistance training uh, more anabolic than resistance training itself uh, by itself. So, you know, more, more work needs to be done on that. But I would say I would focus on those things. Those are the major players. 